Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Promine Tip of the Month. In this episode, we will see how to cut a section at an angle. A very simple process, yet a very useful one. So in this case here, we have a block model uh, that's dipping east to west. And what I would like to do is to cut a section going from here all the way till here. So basically at an angle like this, going from east to west. So the command that we will be using is this cut one section command from the section module in the essentials category. So we're going to cut one section. Uh, the name of this section will be section, for example. And since we're cutting from east to west, in this case, we're going to choose the looking west option. So you can picture yourself sitting on the east side, looking west. And then for the coordinates, well, we want our section to be along this line here. So if we go like that, the section will start here. So I'm going to right click, a uh, shift right click, uh, select endpoint and select the exact coordinate right here. Now, in the pivot section, this is where we can cut a section at an angle. So there's a difference between elevation and the angle here. Elevation means that if we go back here, it basically tells you at what point along this line would you like to start cutting the section. So in this case, I would like to start here. So if we go back, we select pick elevation and start right here. So again, shift right click and point and select here. Now, essentially the difference between the coordinates and elevation, what we just did, the coordinate tells you what point along east west would you like to cut the section and elevation means at what point from bottom to top would you like to start cutting the section so this forms this intersection as you can see here now for the angle it tells you okay so we're starting here now at what angle would you like to cut the section at and if you click on this question mark here you can see that if the uh, well, the object that we're trying to cut is coming towards us, then you put a positive sign. If it's going away from you, then it's a negative sign. So in this case, we're going to choose minus 30, for example. We're going to keep the clips by default and keep the cut objects option turned on. Hit OK. And there's our section. Now, a quick way to evaluate this is to draw a big closed polyline around your object, go back to plan view, and if we rotate our section, or I mean our object here, we can see that our section is correctly cut along the desired angle that we want. And if we turn this back to conceptual, now our section is good. If you go back to section view, you can then start working on this part of the block model. This concludes this tip of the month. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.